What's going on everybody? DJ Minds here. Unfortunately, as you can see, I had to turn off. We're gonna talk about the details. We're gonna talk about my plans moving forward, why I decided I had to turn off at least for now. It really comes down to one thing, guys, my electric rate. My electric rate is not good. It would be nine cents normally, but unfortunately due to the economy, due to what's going on in the world, it is actually 15 cents. So there's six cents extra because of delivery. And you know, when I called my company, they said generally it's around 12 12 cents, sometimes 13 cents, but hey, the economy has it pushed up to 15. So, I mean, is it the worst electric rate in the world? No, it's definitely not. There's a lot of people who have it much worse than me. And there's a lot of people who have it much better than me. So for those who do have it better than me and you are looking for a flux pool to mine on, please do check out our sponsor, fluxpools.net. The website is fluxpools.net. So over at Flux Pools, they actually have a weekly flux lottery. And so this replaces the 1K a month, right? Before they were giving out one thousand dollars but now they decide to break it down for more miners so that more people could win flux five miners each week will win fifty dollars in flux but you do have to have a 95 percent uptime required this will be running for 12 months there is zero percent fees and also zero percent fees on the parallel assets until october 5th the uptime loyalty program is forever there will also be a weekly loyalty for those that have 97 percent uptime and up amount is based on hash with max at four flux per one kilosols. There will also be a bi-weekly loyalty for those that can keep a 99.5% uptime. And that starts very soon. The amount is to be determined. So I was actually hoping that I could outweather the storm a little bit longer, a little bit better than what ended up happening. And uh, guys, I have to say that did not happen at all. It's so awkward in my house right now, walking around, hearing everything and uh, or rather not hearing anything. It, it's quite weird. It's quite a strange feeling because I've been mining this whole time, guys, for like a year and a half every day, try to get as many rigs online as I possibly can. And now I have pretty much nothing. The only rigs that I have on are at other people's houses, which is maybe two or three rigs, I think. Actually, I probably accidentally turned one of them off this morning, not on purpose, but hey, besides that, man, fully turned off. And it's quite sad. It's quite sad, man, but hey, a lot of these GPUs are in terrible shape. Um, I have not serviced most of them. I don't think I've cleaned most of them, and I have cleaned a few, but I, I could tell you right now, like these blower style f f uh, fans, I really need to open these A4000s. I really need to open and just uh, change some pads, ch uh, thermal paste, I mean, just clean, man. Some of these have been out in like my garage at my other house, running and running and running, and I haven't been able to service them, or I could have serviced them. I guess I, if I'm being honest, I could have serviced them. I chose not to because, you know, the merge was happening and I didn't want to lose too much hash, you know? I'm sure that was a, a same feeling for all of you. This one's rather dirty. It probably doesn't look as dirty as it actually is, but it's quite dirty. Here's that $6,000 ASIC. I bought 98 Terra hash coin miner that I've used maybe once. And uh, due to my electric grid, I just never ended up using it, which is quite sad, man. It's quite heartbreaking to see. And uh, makes me think like, dang, dude, you know, did I buy too many GPUs? I'm sure a lot of you might be thinking that. Did I overextend myself? You know, did I make a bad decision? I, I know a lot of people must be thinking that. Obviously they are, because so many people are selling GPUs right now. So many people are considering getting out of the hobby. And so it's actually been a little over 24 hours. I am filming this video before work, so I apologize if I look sleepy. It's because I am sleepy. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a wild ride. So we did the viewer call-in yesterday with Hawk, and while we were doing that, we did that over his channel. We're trying to get him to grow on his channel. So while we were doing that, uh, I actually had to turn off everything on Ergo. The reason I had to turn everything off of Ergo is because everybody and their mother fl flocked over to Ergo. So I didn't think that everybody would go to Ergo. I mean, I, I thought a decent amount would go to Ergo, but it seems like just as many people that went to Ethereum Classic also went to Ergo, which, I mean, I understand because it's a great algorithm. I mean, as far as power usage, it's incredible. As far as efficiency, Ergo is an incredible uh, algorithm for sure. And at the time they were making that video or we were doing that live, stream flux yield was pretty good you know my three kilosols or just shy of three kilosols originally was getting 25 maybe 26 flux and I at that point I was getting about 10 flux so I was like okay you know what 
this sucks, but it's not the end of the world. I'll, I'll keep going with my electric rate of 15 cents. You know, I'll take 10 bucks. It's better than nothing. Well, I woke up this morning, you know, and I looked and it said I was, I was getting three flux or something. It maybe, maybe it was four. I don't know. So I don't even know what the, <laughs> the difficulties got up to. I don't know what the network hash rate has gone up to. Cause I just freaked out, man. I was like, dude, I got to turn the rest off. You know, a couple flux. I mean, what am I gonna do with that? Three flux at the moment. You know, maybe if you have 10 cents, let me know how that's working out for you. Or if you're sub 10 cents, Hey, you know what? You're probably still mining and you're still doing okay. Or maybe you're breaking even, but I was at the point or I'm at the point where if I mine at this current moment, I mean, I'm going to be losing hundreds, if not a thousand, two thousand dollars this month. You know what I mean? And, and that's serious money, man. That's a really big deal, especially one thing to consider. I'm not selling the coins anyways. Right? So I mean, either way, would I really be, would I really be selling anyways? I mean, I wouldn't have been selling. However, I also would have been yielding a good amount to where I'd be like, okay, at least I'm getting this larger bag of flux, this larger bag of ergo. And I also had one rig for Raven coin, you know, my, my lottery play, but that thing is, is making nothing, nothing at all. So I said, okay, even uh, Raven coin right now for me and my situation with my electric rate is just not worth it. Also, a very sad thing happened today. My betta fish, I woke up to dead. I removed him before showing you to him, but I didn't want my kids to wake up to see him. But our goldfish are still alive. I know I've never shown you guys this. We have three goldfish right now. And I'm not a huge fish guy, but as I've gotten older, it's pretty cool, man. When you can't have a dog, fish are pretty cool. So here's a rig that I thought would really get me through this next bear market. <laughs> and uh, it's all 3070s and 3060 TIs. And on the end over here, we have an A2000. And I, I don't know, man, maybe this weekend I'll figure out something, see if I can use the A2000 still on like an Ergo or, or something, a Flux or whatever it is, right? I have to figure something out. But you can see the quality of these fans or, or the dirtiness of these fans. I mean, I don't know if you can see that. It, everything needs to be serviced. Everything needs to be clean. And maybe that's what I'll do this weekend. A lot of us knew this day was coming and I don't think that we thought it would be this quick. Uh, maybe some people did, of course, right? Of course, some 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 jackass out there is gonna be like, oh, I told you, bro, I told you, I told right, Okay, thanks, man. You, you make me feel better. Appreciate you, bud. <laughs> you make a lot of people feel better. Good job on you, dude. Uh, but I know there's gotta be people out there, man. And my heart goes out to, to people who are living off this, you know? And last year, I really wanted to go full-time YouTube and I wanted to go full-time crypto. And, you know, it's times like this where I'm like, wow, I'm really glad that I didn't make that decision, that I didn't end up going full time because I really wanted to go full time. You know, the, the bull run was incredible. I was making so much more than my job, minimum of two times more than I was at my full time job, just having these machines plugged in, you know, and it was like the coolest dream ever. And I was like, oh, and then, you know, YouTube offset it. YouTube doesn't pay much. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. It's like $400 if we're just being frank, because they take like their fee. Uh, I've had a month where it was like 500, but you know, it's good money. I'm not complaining. I'm not saying it's not good money, but it's not enough to live off of. Right. And so like in times like this, I have a family to support of four. Right. And what if I was telling my wife, Hey, we're losing money every day. You know, I'm, I'm really glad that I ended up sticking with my job. As much as I don't like the, the nine to five, actually, I don't even work nine to five. I work 60 hours. I don't, I don't even get to work 40 hours. I work 60 hours a week, but I'm so glad that I stuck with my job because I almost got out, man. I almost gave up on my career so I could go full-time crypto, which obviously is the dream, right? Which is obviously something I want to do long-term, very, very long-term, but it's times like these, right? Where it's like, oh man, you know? Who wants to hear that their husband isn't making any money, you know, and uh, thank God I have a job. And I I'm concerned for so many people who probably don't have a job, who have fully given up on their job because they thought this would be like the best thing ever for them, right? And uh, let me know if that's any of you, man. My heart goes out to you, bro. But we will make it through all of this, guys and girls. And, uh, you know, I know a lot of you are thinking maybe I should sell my GPUs. I respect it. I respect whatever you have to do. In your situation, I respect if you can stay with the hobby or if you have to get out of the hobby. I do hope that you will stick around because I genuinely think the long run, the longer this goes on, man, 
the more money we'll make in the very long run. But right now, it's going to be extremely bumpy. Uh, will I get hosted? Honestly, probably not. I don't, I don't think it would be worth it. Um, I probably could find a place that hosts for maybe $0.08 cents or $0.09. Cents, but is that really worth it to me? You know, I've already tried hosting with someone that was under $0.10, cents and uh, it just didn't work out that well. And I'm not, you know, it, it's okay. It is what it is, right? But do I want to go through that again? Do I want to go ship out all my GPUs and put them at risk and uh, put them through the mail? And honestly, I'd rather just turn off and wait. And that's what I plan on doing, man. Just waiting, finding whatever the next coin will be that's profitable, whatever that may be. And if it's a small cap coin, then hey, you know what? It's a small cap coin. And that's what we'll be mining. And that's what we'll be looking at. And I'll definitely this weekend, uh, I plan on looking at like, little coins, you know, in little random projects that we can find just to make a little bit of money and I'll throw maybe a rig at it or a couple GPUs at it. So that's my plan, folks. That's what it's gonna be for right now. Uh, hmm, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, I, I definitely gonna keep making videos. I gotta work harder on my side hustles, uh, whatever that may be, whether that's these stupid phone games I've been playing or figuring something out. And uh, I'll compensate. I'll figure out, you know, the money we could have made with, with crypto in a different way. And I, and I encourage all of you, seriously, I encourage all of you to never give up on your dreams, right? And to keep going and to find a side hustle. And, you know, maybe you want to buy graphics cards. Maybe you're thinking, is now the time to buy graphics cards? I don't think we're there just yet. I know everybody thinks that, man. I know everybody wants to know, especially the newer people, is now a good time to buy GPUs? I still don't think it is a good time. I would wait. I really would wait. I think we're getting close, guys. I really do. I've been saying this for like three months, right? I said about three months ago, in about six months, right, you're gonna to wanna to start considering to buy GPUs if you do plan on buying GPUs. So we just saw the Ethereum merge. So right now, you know, does it make sense to go out and buy the GPUs? I don't think so. Give it another two months or so. Then I think if you really wanna expand, if you really wanna get involved with the hobby, that is your opportunity to buy in a couple months from now. Not this second, not this minute. Well, we're getting there. You're really close. It, just be patient if that's something you wanna get involved in because people like myself are, are gonna to get to that point where you're like, oh, I got to sell my GPUs. Now, I will not personally be selling my GPUs, but there'll be a lot of people that are like, what am I doing with all this? I'm not making any money. They're going to get desperate. Unfortunately, they're going to have to sell. And I think that would be your opportunity. I love every single one of you, man. Good luck to all of you. Stay positive. I know this doesn't sound positive, but believe me, hey, I, I'm positive on the long term. This is just my vlog, man. This is just how my life is. This is what's going on on my farm. If you find a great coin, please do hit me up in the Discord. Uh, don't, don't private message me everybody likes to private message me just just keep it in the discord man talk in the general chat i love every single one of you have a great day check us out on twitter like this video consider subscribing dj minds signing out